the fight with Mako Tsunami is upon us, and we are going to be going in and seeing if we could defeat him. Let's do it. Mako, bring it on. As I told you, the sea is my element. So yeah, my friend Wookie, he, he had an Umi deck. When he fought Mako, he just started grinding off of him like crazy. All he wanted was Aqua Dragons, and honestly, he got he got Kairushin, but he got some Aqua Dragons, which was a problem. It was a very good card. All right, let's see. Negate Attack is a great start. I love having it just in the corner ready to go. Now, obviously, I don't really get a buff from the sea, but it's okay. My two mermaid does, actually, so if I get that... Oh, already a power increase. I wonder if it's going to be his legendary fiend kraken or jellyfish. Or my sword stalker, which I could use for my ritual, which you probably won't make it to, but it would be nice to see. Uh, we're going to start sectarian. I'm going to move him over here. And then I'm going to bait my character. I was supposed to move first, then summon him. I don't know why I did that. Looks like he's going for a lot of low-level monsters that he's buffing. Interesting. Alright, even with a buff, I don't know if they can beat me. And that's sad to say out loud. Um, I could just power up Mongaruri Ran, why the hell not? And you know what? I don't need Fire Eye. Yeah, let's just uh, make this card, even though it's a fire monster and it'll get stunned every time he attacks me. Um, let's just make it good. Sectarian, I realize now you're going to sit right there. And Negate Attack, I realize now you're going to slow this duel down. Shit. Well, looks like he's not moving his deck leader anywhere. And you're not doing that. Not even coming towards me. What a dick. I would love it if he did, though. Tremendous Fire can help me build stars, so I'll do that. And a thousand burn is crazy. In this game, a thousand burn should not even be a card. That's just too much. I mean, they've nerfed Ukazi to 500, so a thousand is just too much. Oh, finally a good monster. Let's see what he makes. Uh, probably a Sea King Dragon or a Kaiushin, if I had to guess. 31, 23. Wow, he's not even that strong. Oh, but he has a power decrease effect. Tongyo decreased my power, so now I'm at 26. Oh, wow! That is a big power decrease. Tongyo can't break our shell, though, that we already broke. Ew. 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 He did not like that. I didn't like watching that. Well, because of Tongyo's power decrease, I'm unable to kill him. I can block him, but I can't kill him. And that second monster might be a problem. Yeah, what uh, what do you do, Tongyo? Decreases his opponent power by 500 when this card's flipped up. That's a lot! Tongyo's a good card. That's a straight-up good card. Um, I could unspellbind my monster. I could go for a pyro, which would get weaker. Or I could just start throwing shit away. I think I'm going to start throwing shit away. Yep, five flame cerebrus. You get weak here. You're just going to have 21, which... Is because of me. If I moved you, you wouldn't even have that 21. Alright, if I moved you here... I'd feel bad for Manga Rui Ran if I did that. <laughs> I'd actually just feel bad, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to try and get Bakery Box out of here. Unless Kairushin is the monster, we'd have to worry about that. Tongyo's going to have to... What the hell? What is he doing? I mean, yeah, I understand the idea of infinite spellbound. I get it. I've done it before in this Let's Play. But it's not exactly worth it for your life points. You don't have many left. You're almost at, like, half. Oh, shit. Why didn't you do that first? Did the AI just mess up like he was supposed to do that then kill me? But, yeah, this isn't working out. I actually need a good card. Whoa, that's not good. Okay, well, we're in a desperate situation now. Um... However, I have a strat. Get wrecked. <laughs> Best card in the game. Twin of Thunder Dragon, go. Even after your buff, go. Light beats water, too, so now it's completely flipped on them. Yeah, we're bringing back a classic card just to be able to come back in this duel, because I, like I don't like our odds anymore. And the fact that he buffed so many monsters that already had buffs, and some of them were fusions... Alright, let's just charge at him with our Thunderhorn. Oh, nope, it's a lightning beam. 
That's fine. Super effective after all. Oh, Tongyo hates it. Alright, Tongyo takes the loss. And that was a really weak card that just got buffed, so that means the other card's probably gonna kill my twin head somehow. Victory box, I probably just got you killed. I'm actually gonna fall back. I don't like this. I feel a little unsafe. Normally I feel safe, today I don't feel safe. We still get to find out what this is. Oh, it is strong. Oh my god, it's Aqua Dragon! I knew it could be! So Aqua Dragon, no matter what, you're fighting him in water. So even if I create Toon, he will just make it water. We are at a very big disadvantage against that thing. Luckily I have the light thing, so that's, that's nice. So yeah, no matter where he attacks, it becomes water. But it has to be somewhere he attacks, which is my advantage. So I'm going to run Bickery Box away from him, and I'm going to get Slate Warrior in front of him. Just so that he's willing to attack Slate Warrior. Because Slate Warrior does his thing after the fact. Alright, my Immortal Monster has been very helpful. Of course, I could always kill Slate Warrior. Ah, my life... Well, my life points are high enough to make that risk. Alright, let's get rid of some cards. Um... I feel like my pyros are going to be kind of useless in this one, so let's just let's just get rid of all of them. Hmm. Yeah, get rid of the pyros. I actually might have a use for the warrior. It's crazy that Mako's the one giving me the most trouble. I didn't expect that. Um, I'm hoping Slate Warrior dies to this. This is with hope that he dies. Nope, he didn't. Oh, Root Warrior. Well, I didn't expect him to play such a weak card. Root Water dies. It's like, no, you're weaker. Don't forget about my power increase. Slate Warrior will win. And I wonder if his AI is smart enough to not attack Slate Warrior. Yeah, I don't know if it is, but if he is dumb enough to attack Slate Warrior, then I'll be happy. And if he's smart enough not to, then damn. Vickery Box, get out of his range. You're my boss. I can't let you die. Sectarian, get out of the range. I will fall back just because I'm scared. And we hope for the best on this one. Let's see what happens. Oh, fun. He has even more cards to scare me with. Aqua Dragon wasn't scary enough. Well, luckily for me, he's willing to do the damage at the cost of his monster. 3850 versus 24. We get to see Aqua Dragon's attack this time because it's a more, you know, interesting battle. Alright, let's see. How are you going to kill an immortal monster, you cheater? You can't kill my immortal monster. Oh. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Mako's a cheater. That monster was supposed to be immortal. Aqua Dragon is by far... Like, I know Suijin's up there too, but Aqua Dragon's the safer version. Aqua Dragon is by far the boss monster of any Aqua deck, or water, water deck in general. It's the best one. It's just the best one. And I got my crush in the middle of the map killing all of his monsters. Goodbye, Akihan. Goodbye, you. Oh, the other one's too weak. I like that news. So that means it's a trap spell or even better for me. All right, Bickery Box, it's time to start moving in. My life points are a little low, so I do need to play it safe. Uh, time for me to also start moving in. See if I can activate a trap card. No. Sectarian, I think you're just going to stay on the field. You're doing a great job just doing that. doing that. Ooh, running away from my invisible wire. Now you have my attention. Uh, flame Swordsman. Not bad. He's a warrior, so it's not as bad. Um, let's uh, see if that really is a monster. It could be a spell or trap. I'm gonna, I don't want to move Bickery Box in the water, but we're going to. Uh, we'll get invis invisible wire right up front. And I'll go into Crush, because I don't mind being in the Crush. You kind of have to be in the center of the crush for it to matter. Oh, it was just a weak monster. What the hell? Oh, that guy has like zero attack points. After Spellbind. And that card was pretty weak too. Aqua Snake is gone. Okay, we're kind of seeing your whole deck here. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to attack me directly. I was going to be like, damn. Nope, but he got rid of Sectarian. Violent Rain's a decent monster. I'm not even going to lie. In this game, it's pretty damn good. All right, Violent Rain. Funny enough, it is raining pretty violently today. You might be able to hear it in the background. 
Which normally I don't like, but I, I it's been nice. I, I live in California. Having rain is nice. We never get it. Alright, so... He's wide open. I could attack him for 1,200. I could. Violent Rain's gonna come and sneak around on me. Zone Eater actually has no value. My Bakery Box is still moving him around. If I go to the center, no monster other than weak monsters can reach me. So now I have protection. Raimundo's is gonna go in for 1,200. Alright, so we got Raimundo's attacking for 12. If Violent Rain goes after him, he'll die for it. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. It's a closer duel. I gotta give him credit. It's a closer duel. And Zone Eater being stuck there gives me a, pretty much a guaranteed win. No, it is a guaranteed win. The only question is, do I want to win right now? And I know that might sound weird, but I'm thinking of doing something. Even if it's just for the fun of it. I'm thinking of doing something. Victory Box, do you mind just tearing through? Yeah. Mech Bass is such an interesting card where it works, but it's a machine monster. So it works in the deck only because it works when you go against Wasteland. Wasteland counters water monsters, but it, it gets weakened by its own type. So that kind of sucks for it. Uh, we'll get Spellbind ready to go. All right, Mundo, you're good enough. Just play in defense. If he kills you, he kills you. We will not care. Like I said, I think I'm going to try and do something. I know it's a dumb idea to try and do something right now, but I want to. That guy's running for his dear life. He could probably kill my Bickery Box by now. Raimundo. Oh, he's weaker. I forgot. I weakened him enough. He used to be 1550. Oh, wait. He just... Oh, he his AI messed up. I, I was in defense mode. Yeah, no, his AI just straight up messed up. That was, that was sad. That was super sad. That was expected. That's why we have Spellbind. Which means now we can kill that shark. That's a really good shark card too. I could win the duel at any time, but now I'm I'm getting a little too a uh, little too uh, you know, a little too interested in wanting to do other stuff that would be fun. All right, let's try to get our flame swordsman to the area over here, and I will have Bickery Box kill him because I could do that without winning. And then, honestly, this guy might accidentally kill himself on my Raimundo card, which isn't a good thing. We're not trying to have him kill himself. Bickery Box, great job. I'm so proud of you. Such a good card. Um, and he just used all his stars summoning that, so I'm sure he can't summon anything big now. <laughs> just Who programmed the game like this? Who, 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 who told them this? You know what? I, kinda, I, I like the background of this fight, so I'm going to let us see this one. Violent Rain, what is your attack? Is it you go over them like Krako and start using Thunderbolts or just Storm? Oh, oh, he does, he does, he totally does! Do it! But Raimundo is built for this. Normally he wouldn't be. Normally Raimundo would die, but I nerfed him with my Sectarian, so... What a weird way to win the duel. Like, literally, I'm gonna win the duel in three turns, just like that. And there's nothing he can do about it. Oh, wow. I, can, I know I can win at any time. That's not the point. It's not about winning. It's about sending a message. All right. Let's just uh, put you over here for now. Flame Swordsman, get to the safe place. Zone Eater can attack me if it feels like it. I really do not care. Uh, Ramundo, stay in defense. I actually need you alive. And I'm safe in the middle, so let's... Eh. He could try to sneak around and hit me, but whatever he plays will die in the crush before it gets to me. Great job, Zone Eater. <laughs> Great job, buddy. There's a reason I let you live. You? The only good news is this will paralyze you. Alright, that guy's paralyzed. Um, and now that he's even weaker, he, there's no way he'd mess up attacking me. That's another good thing, trust me. Um, I'm afraid he'll attack my Sword Stalker if I summon it. Let's just move you forward. I need to throw away my whole hand, basically. I, I don't care about any of this stuff. Yeah. None of this matters, don't worry about it. Dragon Treasure, just stay there. 
Bickery box, just keep moving forward. Keep chasing him. I'm only doing this for fun. You'll understand by the end of it. It'll all make sense to you. Zone Eater, I'm proud of you. If there is some sort of effect that activates where Zone Eater, like, kills me in five turns, I'll be so upset. I might need five turns to find the card, because I have not been able to draw it. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm willing to play him now. Let's just get him onto the field. He's pretty far from everyone. It should be fine. I should have got rid of a lot of cards doing it, though. That's my bad. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's only eight cards left in my deck. I'm bound to draw it eventually. I forgot to move Bickery Box, which might make my opponent more aggressive than usual. Alright, zero damage to Zone Eater. Love it. No! Why? Why? I wanted to do something, you son of a person! Why would you do this? What convinced you to do such a thing? I thought if I weakened you even more, your brain might understand. But you don't understand, Mako. You're a crazy person. Alright, well, Mako has chosen death rather than letting me have fun. Part of it's my fault, though. Kaiushin is the best card for any water deck. Um, Mech Bass is necessary for a ritual card. The rest of these cards, I could care less. Actually, I, I don't care about any of these. None of these help my current deck, so Kaiushin is the only one I'll try to pull. Just because I think he's really good. Okay, I got him. Ah, oh, Tongyo is not bad, actually. That's a good card. I didn't even think about him, but he's good. Ah, oh, come on. All right. I, I just did it randomly on that one to see if I can get something new. Tongyo actually is worth a, worth a place in my deck just because he has a really good effect. He's better than Sect... No, Sectarian is better. It's a low-level monster, so no cost. Ah, you are something else. I never dreamed I'd lose a duel on the sea. I guess a promise is a promise. You get to go to Baloney. Success, you've entered France. Hooray! And the first person to stop us in France will be... My boy, Joey! And I gotta weaken my deck for him. Oh, crap, it's my boy. Alright, guys, I'll see you all next episode when we take on Joey Wheeler. Bye-bye.